a graphics card battle. What's my favorite GPU for Cyberpunk? Guys, today I'm gonna test two graphics cards. On the one hand, the ASUS RTX 4060, a very nice uh, card with big uh, fans and RGB effects. Super nice energy efficient card on a five nanometer process versus the bigger brother, the RTX 4070. In this case, I also have organized an ASUS card uh, that uh, looks very similar, but uh, it's a little bit bigger build size. And which card would I recommend for Cyberpunk? We're gonna do a lot of benchmarks uh, in different resolutions with ray tracing and without ray tracing of these two wonderful cards. Guys, you don't have to use the Rock Strix version. You can get a plain normal 4060 or a plain normal 4070. That is no problem at all. Um, but what we're gonna do, that is my test system right here. I have an AM4 test system for a B550 motherboard. That's really a bestseller motherboard. A lot of people used to buy these over the uh, past years. So we're gonna to also check, okay, how does this perform with Ryzen 5600X and look a little bit at, uh, is it worth to maybe use it with an X3D cache? processor how many fps are you leaving on the table and that's what my benchmarks are for and we're starting right off with 1080p benchmarks of the nvidia geforce rtx 4060 versus the rtx 4070 and you can see that in low settings with the normal ryzen processor they are pretty close up and then as you increase the graphics settings you always move the CPU bottleneck away from the CPU, more towards the GPU. Guys, the lower the settings, the more you put pressure on the CPU, the higher the settings, the more you put uh, demand on the GPU. And you can see also denoted with a star what would happen if you would run the RTX 4070 with an X3D cache processor. At the lowest settings, you would get a whopping 51 FPS more but then again, that's my logic. Why would you get an RTX 4070, which is already a really nice card, uh, and then put it on the lowest settings? That doesn't make sense. So guys, look at Ray Tracing Ultra, 1080p resolution, which is a low resolution. The 4070 is targeted at WQHD, 1044p. Um, the FPS gain starts to shrink, even with the X3D cache CPU, but still you would have 20 FPS more. So if you know you want to have high FPS, low resolution gaming, then X3D cache CPU with a 4070 can really make sense. Stepping it up one notch to WQHD, also known as 1044p resolution, you again see the same pattern. Higher resolution, Again, you look at the lowest graphics setting, which in my opinion, you would not use the 4070 for, but what the heck, just to illustrate the point, you would still have 80, 39 FPS more. But if you bump it up to Ray Tracing Ultra, you see the bottleneck, the CPU bottleneck starts to melt away relatively quickly. Considering that the Ryzen 5600X is a considerably older CPU with uh, less power, uh, it delivers almost the same on average frames, at least in these settings. So if you know you want to play on high settings, then maybe you don't even need an X3D cache CPU. However, if you know you want a lot of FPS, then it makes sense. And for this, let's quickly run the Cyberpunk benchmark with a ray tracing low on the RTX 4060, which coincidentally is my favorite setting. So we're using a 4060, which is designed for 1080p. We're using it on the WQHD resolution, and we're even applying some light ray tracing, which is really appealing to the eye and really playing with ray tracing and playing without ray tracing. I feel ray tracing is much more pleasant and immersive experience, and you see, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 has a good utilization. That's what you would look for. If there would be a GPU bottleneck with that Ryzen 5600X, uh, the CPU utilization would be significantly higher and there would be dips. Yeah, So the RTX 4060 would not be fully utilized, but as you can see, it is fully utilized. So if you have an entry-level graphics card, you can, no problem, even if it's a newer generation, 
you might be really able to put that in your older system and get really nice performance out of it. I think this is a great pairing and uh, I enjoy that very much. It's a nice budget system with good performance. However, let's see what happens if we're using the RTX 4070 and we're increasing the ray tracing a little bit. Guys, more ray tracing, obviously the FPS is going to go slightly down, which should uh, reduce the stress on the CPU. But with ray tracing, it also adds a little bit more stress on the CPU as you make the settings higher. And that's why I really want to look at this benchmark together with you because what we're really watching like a hawk right now is whether the gpu utilization is going to dip slightly down and right now it looks pretty good you know you're almost at 100 percent that's what you want to see that's the numbers you want to see we have a good solid 60 percent 65 percent even utilization of the ryzen cpu at a very low power consumption. I mean, that's also something. The X3D cache CPUs, they get pretty warm. The normal Ryzen CPUs, they stay pretty cool. They are very easy to cool. It's a very quiet system. And guys, right now, that looks like a great combo. 1040p, that's what the RTX 4070 is there. Solid FPS, good utilization. Ah, here was a slight dip. So you see, if you're somewhere in Cyberpunk on the map and there's some complex scenes, there can be slight dips. So you see, you're just at the edge of where some slight bottlenecks can occur. And that's why I would say the RTX 4070 and the Ryzen 5600X is still a good combination. However, uh, that was also a slight critique because earlier this year I did three PC builds, which you can also look in the playlist up here and look at these PC builds where I built a budget system, a mid-price system, and an expensive system. And I intentionally built that with a little bit of an underpowered CPU at first, just to do exactly these benchmarks that I do right now. Uh, another consideration, guys, please consider the chipset that you're using and the CPU and power supply. You want a good match like I showed you, and you won't definitely have PCIe 4.0. If you're getting such a nice card, uh, using it with a PCIe 3.0 system would not, uh, I would not recommend it. It would not be my preference. And also, if you're building a completely new system, please think about your power supply. That's also a mistake that I regularly see. People still buying an old ATX 2.0 power supply, uh, totally forgetting about, okay, if I have a 40 RTX 4070 or higher, uh, with the 4060, you can still use the old uh, ATX 2.0 power supply because it has still the old connector. As soon as you step it up to RTX 4070, you will most likely find the new ATX 3.0 16 pin connectors. And unless you want to use the included adapter with the graphics card, which I don't, I don't like, I would definitely for a new build get an ATX 3.0 power supply. That is just much, much nicer. So guys, what's my conclusion? I love both these cards. On the one hand, I like the RTX 4060 because it's relatively affordable and delivers for me, yeah, good, good budget performance. I mean, it's a 1080p card, but I can still use it in WQHD with some light ray tracing. That is very playable. Are there some spots on the map in Cyberpunk where the FPS might be a little bit dipping because the cyberpunk was updated you know they did the phantom liberty uh, uh, map update so there's some complex spots uh, on the map yeah but 90 percent of the time that's not an issue and the rtx 4070 that is more powerful if you were to pair an RTX 4070 with an X3D pro uh, processor, I think you would be very happy. Or if you build that system on AM5, I think you would also be, be, be very happy. I, I like both cards uh, and they are both very playable. And uh, yeah, nicer, higher graphics settings are always look better. But uh, the storytelling and from the game, that's also what counts. So in my opinion, you can use both. Uh, depending on what budget category you are sitting in. Guys, what other uh, graphics card reviews do you want to see? What are your favorite graphics card that, or what is your favorite graphics card that you're using right now? Let me know in the comments and I see you as a subscriber in the next video. Stay awesome.